So, this is part two of the night. How's it going? Nicky Lutel, Mel Gibson. Rock and roll, would you say? So, what are you doing at the moment? You're rolling the joint. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm not. I'm inebriated in Australia. Hell races, the life and the inebriated times of Oliver Reed, Peter O'Toole, Richard Burton, and Richard Harris. Mickey Boutel. So, Gibbo, can you give a bit of, a bit of your accent, please? Just so the people on YouTube can get a bit of you. Oh, yeah. do, you mean, do you mean ass? Oh, oh, oh. Who are you? Yeah, you're that. Say it properly. Yeah, I have to work. Say it properly. Say it properly. Say it properly. Say it properly. No, no, no. Or do you have a smoke? I can say. <laughs> Would you rather smoke a cassette? That or a cassette? Well, it, it sounds like it's trying, so, you know. Gibbo, I just wish I could understand what the fuck you're saying. I know. <laughs> I wish you could give my ass what you want. Arse. Arse. Every now and then I can just say words, it's just like, oh, I'll oh, 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 oh. Do, do you remember when we were in a we were in Sainsbury's and he, he told that one behind the counter that he shaved his ass. Well, she, she wouldn't do it for me, you know what I mean? But didn't she ask you if you were going to kiss it? She said that and then he went, oh no, I'll shove it in his face or something. Chris, um, listen, it's my anal sore. Something like that, yeah. That's her problem. That's her sweaty date work. Hopefully. Let's just be there. I'm not impressed with you. I'm not impressed with you. Give some mechanisms, you've got an inch, 8 inch penis. I'm a poly. I know she would be if I sat there and got a bed. Yeah. Silly here. Part 2, over.